A game based on the movie? No? Now we're talking. That's right, this isn't a game based on the movie, which is a massive relief and a great start. I do feel that the game feels a little rushed, which would explain its release date close around the launch of the film. It's not all bad, but then again, it's not all good. So remember that new respawn of the series that came out last year simply called Prince of Persia? The one with all the brightly colored textures and strong but strange art style? Well, I don't know what happened to that because they've gone back to the original series on the PlayStation 2. It's an interquill of sorts between the sands of time and the warrior within. The prince goes off to visit his brother's kingdom and gets launched into a battle of epic proportions. His brother makes some stupid decisions and unleashes Solomon's army which looks like some kind of dreaded skeleton chops hell bent on obviously killing everything for simply living because, you know, they don't or something. The story is actually incredibly boring, but it's a great holding device with some sweet puzzle solving and some awesome action sequences. The gameplay is pretty much the same as previous installments being linear with Tomb Raider type puzzles interspersed with dashes of fighting. This makes up the bulk of the game and follows in the classic tradition of the Prince of Persia series. The regular time reversal Prince of Persia signature is there plus a few new moves including the ability to freeze water to traverse levels which creates some fast paced puzzling. It's definitely a family friendly title with a lot of the fights either ending in pushing or punching finishing moves. That aside the fights are boring and result in massive button mashing sessions. If I could avoid a fight in order to progress through a puzzle, I would. The enticement of XP was not enough for me, not to mention the useless AI. The game looks pretty rubbish on the most part. Although it's utilizing the powerful Assassin's Creed engine, it's rendered in a very strange choice of art direction, somewhere between the old Prince of Persia's and the artful remake. This flattens the game and makes the levels feel dull and lackluster. The Forgotten Sands is simply forgettable. Like a fizzer, it's cheap, sweet and entertaining for the time it lasts, but struggles to compete with other massive titles the likes of Uncharted 2 and the God of War series. Prince of Persia gets a 7 out of 10. It's entertaining, but it's not as fun as Sands of Time and the other Prince of Persia's of years gone by.